Hey, I'm live. Uh, so I did not make any announcements whatsoever. I also moved my camera. So I was looking up here <laughs> where my camera usually is. I got to look right there because I moved my camera. Got a little bit of a new setup going on right now. So hopefully this works out for me. This, uh, let me do something here so that I'm not looking in the usual spot. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now, since I didn't uh, let anyone know that I was going live, I'm just going to go ahead and wait for some people to show up, and then uh, we'll get into this toy haul. Um, I do have, if you saw the uh, thumbnail, I got a little bit of a toy haul here, uh, but I uh, wanted to just kind of go live because the uh, the live stream with Ethan Page went very, very well, and we had a great discussion, but I didn't really get a chance to go into the chat much, so I kind of wanted to to make up for that a little bit. Hopefully the people that were in that stream show up to this stream and then uh, we can, I can interact with the chat a little bit better uh, than I did with that, uh, with the last one. So, but uh, that was a great stream. I, I had a great time. Um, hopefully we can get them back and uh, maybe talk about some Marvel Legends next time. But uh, let's see, Slapshot Toys, good old Kyle. First person there, thanks man, thanks for, and I'm still looking up here. Even though the camera's not there, the camera's right there. How's it going, Kyle? Uh, let's see, Drew, Han Andrew, how's it going, man? Ricardo Hernandez, Stinkfist69, Mark40, Leon, how's it going, man? Uh, great show the other day. Thank you, Leon, I appreciate it. RMD Collective, how's it going? Uh, Andrew says, display is looking killer, dude. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. I did something different with the lighting. Uh, turn the lights down. Turn on the ring light a little bit lower. Move the camera, move the mic. So things are a little different right now. So hopefully, I'm just kind of experimenting with stuff. I was actually going to move freaking everything in here. I was going to move the whole display, the computers, the tables, everything. I was going to reorganize the whole damn thing. And then I just started overthinking it. And then I was going to ask uh, the wife. I'm like, hey, am I just freaking stupid for wanting to do this? But uh, I'm st I still got to think about it. I got to think it through. I got to think it through because when I just start doing stuff, then I freaking F up. Anyway, tangent. Retro Brick Studios, how's it going? Kevin Vallejo, how's it going? Ionic is Toy Reviews. David Big Dog Ramey, how's it going? Stinkfist69 says, love Exo Squad. I never collected Exo Squad. I never collected Exo Squad when I was a kid. I knew about it. There was other toys that were out at the time that I was more into, so I never really got into those. I had friends that had those. I enjoyed playing with the Exo Squad toys when I was at their house, but I just never had any myself. Uh, same kind of goes with like mask, but in reverse. Like I was one of the only dudes that had like a bunch of mask toys. My friends didn't really have a lot of mask stuff. So anyway, uh, where was I? The Fig Bros here, <clears throat> Nameless 70, uh, Marvel Action. Hello from Vegas, baby. Saw the live podcast the other day. Thanks for sharing. Absolutely. Uh, Calvin, Valle both the Vallejo brothers are here. How's it going, Vallejos? Uh, I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. And uh, Christmas is right around the corner. Santa Claus will be here soon. And uh, I got a bunch of videos I got to edit for uh, Cincy 2. I got, a, I got another Star Wars toy haul that I got to share. Uh, doing great. Mandalorian finale was freaking phenomenal. I'm not sure where I'm looking right now. I'm just kind of like not used to the camera placement. The Mandalorian finale was freaking phenomenal. Like phenomenal. I've watched it like six times now. I don't know if that's overkill. Like the first four times, I don't want to get into it because a lot of you guys, some of you guys probably haven't seen it yet. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. But um, yeah. So let's see here. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Order anything from Mando Mondays, thinking about the Black Series Darksaber. RMD Collective asked that. RMD Collective, I just nearly pulled the trigger on buying that FX Black Series Darksaber because it looks phenomenal, but it's two fitties. It's $250, so it's pricey. It's pricey. I got a gift card for Christmas number one because we celebrate three Christmases, and uh, Christmas number one, I got a gift card, and I could very easily take a gigantic dent out of that 250 and I'm really thinking about it because the dark saber looks so badass. But um, that's the one that I would probably order. The Boba Fett helmet looks great. I already have Slave One. Um, 
I thought about the Boba Fett helmet, but I, I really, really like the Darksaber. So if I was going to order anything that was previewed today, it'd be the Darksaber. Uh, let's see here. Roman Soares, how's it going? Uh, let's see here. All we do is game. Are you excited about Justice League Snyder Cut? Hell yes. I'm very excited for it. I'm just wondering when the hell they're going to release it. Hopefully we don't have to wait too long for it. The hype's there. The hype is there. I don't know if he's still working on it, if he's still editing it. But the sooner, the freaking later on releasing that sucker, because the hype's going to die. Like, there's no hype for Black Widow right now that I know of. I mean, I'm going to see it, but the hype is just freaking gone. I assume that after Wonder Woman 84, which does drop in four days on HBO Max and in theaters, I'm assuming the reaction is going to be pretty damn positive for Wonder Woman 84. Strike while the iron's hot at that point. I mean, they should just release the Snyder Cut. If it's done, 100% done, release that sucker soon-ish if they can. Uh, Nico R says, 8.24 a.m. in Japan. 8.24 a.m. Good morning, Nico. Missed the last live stream, was watching Mandalorian. Ionicus, check it out. I had Ethan Page on. He's a professional wrestler. He is one half of the tag team, The North. He uh, is a two-time, I got it right now if he's watching, got it. He's a two-time Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Champion. Oh, I, I effed it up. And I almost dropped an F-bomb and got de demonetized. I'm a freaking mess today. I screwed up the uh, his intro. Anyway, it was a great live stream. It was a lot of fun. We talked all about Hot Toys. We got into Marvel Legends. We talked about collecting. Check it out. It was a great time. Uh, let's see here. Shaka for Hawaii. Right there. Gilster. How's it going? Excited for Mark 85 or disappointed by the head sculpt? Mm. I'm excited for it. And I... Honestly, I I don't know what to think of the head sculpt. I personally don't think it looks that bad. I don't know why people are freaking out about it because the preview, the prototype, the preview image of the head sculpt looked nothing like Tony looked in Endgame. Robert Downey Jr. is in it, what is he in his 50s, like late 50s? And that was like a youngish version, the prototype I'm talking about, the prototype imagery for the head sculpt look like he did in like Iron Man 1 or 2. So the new head sculpt is an older version, more wrinkles, thinner face, since he almost died in space. Straight hair, not the poofy-ish hair. He looked different in Endgame. I got to rewatch Endgame, but when I saw the head sculpt, I'm like, okay. But people are freaking out about it. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why people are freaking out so bad about that damn head sculpt for the 85. I'm excited for it. I have it pre-ordered. I'm looking forward to it. Philly Phil, hello from Belton, Texas. Uh, Calvin says, we're doing great. Got Ray Parks autograph yesterday. Dude, I watched the video. Uh, Dallas Vintage Toys had Ray Parks. So Darth Maul, Snake Eyes, Toad from the X-Men. Dallas Vintage Toys had Ray Park here in Dallas yesterday, Sunday. And uh, it was awesome because I didn't go. I didn't go because I already have his autograph. I got it in like 2008. It's around here somewhere, actually. But uh, he took time to, he went, there was a long ass line outside and he went outside and took someone's double bladed lightsaber and did like a whole choreographed thing. It was awesome just to watch on, on YouTube. I think they put it, it was either on IG or YouTube, but man, that guy's a, that guy is a crowd pleaser. He's a uh, entertainer. Say what you will about some of his goings on on IG as of recent, <laughs> But um, he pumped the crowd up. Watch the video. Dallas Vintage Toys. Check out. I think they posted on Instagram. He went outside, did a bunch of stuff with a double blade of lightsaber. There was a kid that went inside to get his autograph. And did like The kid did like a backflip and did like a really cool move with a double bladed saber. But it was pretty badass. Like Ray Park, kudos to you, dude. And he was really, really, really nice when I met him in like 2008. So uh, let's see. Uber Hulk's here. Uber Hulk smash. How's it going, Uber Hulk? The Wizard's Chest is here. Uh, Mandalorian season finale was amazing, says David Big Dog Ramey. I watched it 10 times, Nameless 70 said. Uh, I definitely want that Darksaber, David Big Dog Ramey uh, said. I think 
This, I'm just going to go out on a limb here. I think they're going to make a lot of those. Force FX, Black Series, Dark Sabers. I think they're going to make a lot. However, I think that that one has a very good chance of selling out while in pre-order. It's just with the hype that Mandalorian has right now, how popular that show is, how that show, Filoni and Favreau, brought back a splintered Star Wars fan base. That show, holy freaking crap, that Darksaber, such a badass weapon in that show, that thing has the chance of selling out while in pre-order. So I think if you're leaning towards it, I would probably get it sooner than later. I think it doesn't come out until like June or something. I have to check the dates, but yeah, it's it's a while before it comes out. Uh, Riot Press Productions, that room is looking pretty good. Thank you very much. I thought about doing some like uh, some lighting up top. It's too dark up there for me right now. Up there, up there. I want to do some lighting up there. I just realized that my image is flipped. Is it flipped on YouTube as well or is it forward? Is this Midway Classics Arcade reversed or is it right side? Maybe it's just like this because uh, this is what I'm seeing on the video. But anyway, let me know in the, in the chat. But I, yeah, what I was basically saying is I want some lighting up there. Like some cool, like, what's that called? RBG lighting? I think that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, tangent. Uh, let's see here. Where am I? Riot Press Productions haven't watched you in a while. Well, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Brewers Baseball Rules says, hello, sir. Enjoyed the live stream with Ethan Page. Thank you, Brewers. I appreciate it. I'm glad you guys like that. That was fun. I am, uh, I don't. I am planning another guest here at the beginning of the year. He's um, a good dude. I watch all of his videos. Uh, should I spoil it? Should I spoil who the guest is? He's uh, he's very, very, very popular in the toy community. He uh, he has a friend named Gus. And I'll leave it at that. So you guys figure out who that could be. We're working on a firm date, but I'm really excited to have him on the, uh, we're going to do a live stream and uh, I'm excited. So you guys uh, figure that out. Friend named Gus, very popular in the toy community. Uh, let's see here. Good thing I randomly came across this. YouTube didn't notify me, shaking my head. Thanks a lot, YouTube. You freaking jackholes. Faceless Honor thankfully found the video. Got a, almost 100 people in here, so hopefully... No did I get the notification that I went live? I got it at 522. So uh, Snyder said March 25th. Okay, that's not bad. So uh, yeah, the Snyder Cut. Snyder Cut for Justice League, March 25th. That's not. That's like three months away, four months away. Four months away, that's not bad. Did I watch WWE TLC last night? Ionicus, I did. And I kind of was like sleeping through it. <laughs> so I have to rewatch it. I wasn't sleeping because it was boring by any means. Uh, but I was sleeping because I was very, very tired. I woke up very early yesterday. So I was just really tired. I was in a very comfortable couch. Uh, fell asleep through the uh, the Bray Orton match. Uh, just in time to see um, Randy commit murder at the end. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I did watch it. I need to rewatch it. I actually missed... The uh, the McIntyre, AJ Styles, and eventually the Miz match. So I got to rewatch that one. Uh, let's see here. Brewers baseball. Excited to see Pedro Pascal as Max Lord. Me too. He. Uh, I can't wait to see Wonder Woman. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think Mrs. Cincy and I are going to watch that on Christmas Day on HBO Max. Uh, let's see here. Zack Snyder, Justice League out in March. BT says... I like how you tried to slip him up. <laughs> no, I didn't want to. I didn't want him to reveal anything. I don't want him to get in any kind of trouble or anything. Um, but uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, at the end of the live stream with Ethan Page, I did a lightning round at the end, and I kind of had a zinger in, in the end, and uh, I gave him the right to pass. So I wanted him to pass on that because obviously I just kind of did it as a gag. But uh, I'm glad that he he caught that and didn't answer it because. He might have been in trouble revealing because he's still under contract with Impact. Uh, but anyway, let's see here. Malenka Mabane uh, says, peace to the family and to Cincy, brother. If you get any more toys, you're going to run out of room in the nerd cave. Tell me about it. Fr 
freaking uh, run out of room very quickly in here. I'm going to have to start uh, thinning. I'm going to have to start thinning, and that means that I'm going to have to start cycling, cycling out so I can make some more room. Let's see here. Nothing but bare toy shelves at my Walmarts and Targets in SoCal. How's Texas looking? Uh, apparently, it looks great just when I'm not there. People are finding the damn uh, Android Krang uh, at all the Targets that I frequent and the Baxter and Splinter at the Targets I frequent just when I'm not there. Like literally right after I leave there, or right before I get there, they're there. And then when I get there, they're gone. So, hello. Uh, let's see here. She's been making TikToks all day. All day. Did you finally take a break? Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, let's see. The comments jumped, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just back on up. Why is this so beep, many? Why beep, this? beep. I'm what? backing up. <laughs> backing up. Holy cow. Man, I went off on some tangents. Oh, there we are. There's Malaika's. Malaika's. Malaika Mabane. What is Malaika's? Uh, that's his name, Malika Mabane. Uh, Toad X Men, yes, Riot Press Press Productions. Uh, Darth Darth Maul. Ray Park was Toad in X Men. Iron Man is fifty five. So thank you, Uber Hulk. Tony Stank is fifty five. I just watched that Ray Park video. Amazing. Uh, Adam Kenobi, hello there. Chisel Tip, hey yo. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. I've missed out on a lot of comments, so I'm gonna skip around. Let's see here. It's Sunday. Henry Tilla says. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Monday. I'm pretty sure it's Monday, too, because I work today. <laughs> You're off, though. You're off for, like, three weeks. I know. Like I... a champ. Uh, let's see here. I came across four war for Cybertron, Netflix, Bumblebees, and a couple Alita One at Walmart yesterday that never happens here in Louisville, Kentucky. Where the heck are those? Louisville. Oh. It's just south of where we used to live, sweetie pie. Oh! Ow! Did you see that Hot Toys? Yes, Montgomery Designs. I saw the 85 head sculpt. I don't I don't think it's that bad. I got to see it in person. But, I mean, it looks more accurate to Tony in Endgame than the prototype. The prototype was, like, when he was, like, 35 years old or, like, in 2008. It, it looked The prototype for his head looked too young. I was like, that doesn't look like how he looked in that damn movie. Anyway, I got to see it in person. I'm not going to cast judgment on an internet picture. Uh, Gilster. Bo Katan is older than Boba Fett, according to Canon, looking good for her age. I think she's in like her, she's supposed to be in like her 40s, right? In uh, Mando. Uh, BJ Basel says, It's me. I'm the special guest. BJ, you can come on here. You can be my special guest. We can talk about comic books. Uh, let's see. All right. So it looks like you guys know who has a friend named Gus. Uh, Hellspawn Hulk says, how's your Monday? Robo, Ivan Frias, Robo, Bats879, Foosh. Henry Tillis, Shardimus Prime. I'd love to have Shardimus on the show. Shardimus, if you're watching, I'd love to have you on here as well. Talk some toys, talk some action figures, have a good time. Sylvia Barboza, Robo, let's go. So we still got to firm up a date, but yeah, uh, I'm going to have uh, Robo from the Foosh on here. Live stream. It'll be a freaking ton of fun. We'll talk some figures. I got lots of questions for him. But yeah, uh, definitely uh, join us for that one. I'll have more details on when that's actually going to happen uh, coming up here. Are you getting that Snake Eyes figure from Sideshow when it comes out in June? Are you talking about the 3A Nameless? If if so, yes. I have that pre-ordered. I actually have that pre-ordered through Big Bad. If that's the one you're talking about, the 3A Snake Eyes and 3A Storm Shadow too. I have both of them pre-ordered. I just got a super chat. All right. Let me work my way to that. Are you getting... Uh, I just read that. Uh, Steven Turner says, love Robo and Gus. Uh, Adam Kenobi says, may the Robo be with you. Ivan Freya says, yeah, YouTube didn't tell me either. Well, thanks guys for being here because uh, apparently the notifications aren't going out. So I'm glad that you guys are. And the comments just jumped. But Insane Goon. Thanks, man, for the super chat. $5 super chat. Yo, Cincy, what Iron Man is that above the Spidey and Shuri? I can't tell. Right there? That's the Mark 43 die cast from Age of Ultron. Right there. I got that one the same time I got the Hulkbuster. So, yeah, that's what he's doing right now. But, uh, yeah, it's the Mark 43. And thank you for the super chat, Jared. I appreciate it. 
Now, let's see all these comments that I missed. Johnny Law, how's it going, man? I haven't seen Johnny Law here in a while. Kid alert, message redacted, he said. Cincy and Robo, I haven't been this excited for a hot combo since the Barbie Twins in the late 80s. I remember the Barbie Twins. Uh, considering pre-ordering a hot toy to celebrate passing my final college math class, Brewers baseball, freaking congratulations. That's awesome, dude. Uh, Ivan Freya, she is like 36. She was about 20 during the Clone Wars. I thought she was like in her late teens in the Clone Wars. Bo uh, Bo-Katan, I thought she was supposed to be like 16, 17 or something. Anyway, but yeah, um, Katie Sackhoff, I, I don't know how old she's in real life. I think she's like in her late 40s, but I thought she did great in Mandalorian. Have you seen any of the Max Nut? No, I watched a video earlier today and they mentioned a Max Nut Tony Stark head sculpt. I have not seen it. Uh, let's see. Do you think that Disney Plus will hurt the MCU in theaters? No, I think that Disney Plus is going to create so much hype for MCU. It looks like I'm glitching here because my mouth is not matched up to how I'm talking. Anyway, I think that Disney Plus and all these releases, all these TV shows is going to build up the hype for the movies. So people are actually going to be encouraged to go and watch the movies and go to theaters again. I absolutely. Now, I know a lot of people just like they're going to movie theaters is not their thing. I Going to movie theaters is probably one of my favorite things in the world. I've been going to movie theaters and watching movies since I was five years old, since Empire Strikes Back. So um, literally every weekend when I was a kid, my family day was going to the movie theater together. So, I mean, that's like just pure nostalgia and memories of my childhood, just going to the movies with my mom and dad, watching movies, going to the arcade. Uh, my mom would get popcorn. My dad would go find seats for us. I'd go to the arcade, pump in some quarters, some games, and then I'd go and find them. We'd sit and watch the movie, and then I'd go play more arcade games. They'd wait around for me, and then uh, we'd go home. So that's just memories. I mean, you can see the grin on my face. That's just memories right there. My whole childhood, teenage years even, I wasn't ashamed to be with my parents uh, on a Sunday going to the movie theater when I was like 16. I thought it was fun. It's so freaking fun. So I hope movie theaters don't go away. I hope that movie theaters come back. I hope people go back to the theaters, feel comfortable going back, feel safe going to movie theaters. I just miss the experience and I can't freaking wait. Anyway, super freaking long ass tangent there. Uh, let's see. BJ says, let me know when we can talk comics, sports, music, and movies. That sounds freaking fun as frick, dude. Hell yes. Uh, comments just jumped again. Boba Fett passed Saturday. Yes, Jeremy Bullock. Very, 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 very sad. Very sad to see him go. When you get to my age, when you get into like your mid 40s, you start seeing all these people that were like you looked up to that were like, I don't know, iconic um, movie stars, celebrities, and stuff, and they're passing away. Like I watched Alex. The other thing that my family used to do together, besides go to the movies on Sunday, was watch Jeopardy literally every day, Monday through Friday. We watched Jeopardy as a family every night. So my mom and I, my, my dad passed away in 2010, but my mom and I uh, were very sad to see Alex Trebek passed away. But uh, yeah, sucks getting old, guys. Uh, let's see, there's 113 people watching. Why the frick is there only 30 likes? It's okay. Like if you like it. I don't, I don't, I'm not someone that like forces people. I don't want to force anyone to like the video, but if you like it, then like it, please. But yeah. Uh, let's see here. The art of storytelling is beautiful. Uh, Brewers Baseball Rules says, Me too. Love the movies. Just hope they don't disappear. Amen. I try to support, no, AMC is a big ass movie chain. I try and support my local movie theater. Like, uh, there's a smaller chain called B and B theaters uh, where I live here and I try and support them. It's a very small chain. It's uh, family owned. So um, even when I'm not going to a movie, if they have no first run movies or no movies, like older movies that I want to watch, I'll go in there and literally just buy popcorn and a soda and leave. And at least it's supporting them because I think they mo make most of their money on um, concessions anyway. So yeah. I, I do that. I like to support them. I don't want them to go away either. <clears throat> Knight of Ren says, what the frick is up? How's it going, Knight of Ren? Henry Till says, nerd gang. I watch all these stuff and I'm not sad to be a nerd. Hell no. I'm proud to be a nerd. 
Nathan Simmons, how's it going, man? Uh, too many gone too fast. Amen. Uh, Nathan Simmons, good to see you in here, dude. <clears throat> like the like the stream twats. <laughs> I'm not saying Johnny Law just said like the stream twats. <laughs> uh happy holiday happy holidays guys by the way happy holidays happy new year to those that celebrated merry christmas to those that celebrated happy hanukkah um just happy holidays to everyone hope you guys are doing good hope you're all safe healthy happy what else uh let's see here my local theater still hasn't real i haven't shown any of this stuff in this hall we got 125 in here I've been uh, interacting with the chat. I'm going to start showing you the guys this stuff here. So the first thing, I got some Transformers here. The first thing I'm going to show you, I got this one from my buddy Jimpy, Jimpy Zayo down in Florida. He uh, knows that I collect these movie masterpiece Transformers. I gotta, there's the camera. He knows I collect these. And he, recently, these things have been showing up in some raw stores. My raw stores suck. They, they don't have a damn thing. But Jimpy found this one. And um, I was like, dude, can you please pick that up for me? So he picked it up. He mailed it to me. I PayPal'd him. But bam, hell yes, Megatron. So there's Megatron from the first movie, the first Michael Transformers movie. And the good thing about this is that I already unboxed it. And he's right here. And I have another one here that I'm going to show you for size comparison. But this is, he looks like a hot damn mess on camera. But he's freaking badass in person. Megatron. I love that first Transformers movie. The Michael Bay movies, just you got to like them for what they are. Big action, stupid dialogue, just make you a little bit dumber watching them. Awesome transformation, awesome action fiend, action fiend, action scene, popcorn flicks. I think I said popcorn flicks twice there. But yes, this is the masterpiece MPM Megatron. Shout out to Jimpy. And for those of you that collect studio series, here's the size comparison. So here's Studio Series, here's MPM, Masterpiece, Movie Masterpiece, Megatron, right there. So I got that one, um, hell of a deal on that one. That one was only, don't fall, mother fricker. Here, I'm going to just let him lay on the bench there. That one was only 40 bucks at Ross. And this thing new, I think, was in the $200 range, honestly. I think it was in the $200 range when it first came out. Oh, okay. More Transformers here, guys. Uh, let's see here. Found the new Star Wars Archive set. Uh, I'm going to touch on that very quickly before I show these Transformers. I actually found those two. So I found, I walked in the store. I saw a kid with his dad holding the Cody. So I'm like, sweet. So um, I let him look at the figures, obviously, first, because I'm not going to, like, barge in and try and grab them in front of him. But he looked at him. He took the Cody and then went to check out. And he left the Thrawn, Hoth Luke, Hoth Han. Archive figures. New Star Wars archive figures. So I um, was very excited for it. Took a picture. Tay, Tay was in the picture, too. She went shopping with me. We took my mom to get groceries and stuff. So took a picture, put it on Instagram, proceeded to walk to the checkout counter with uh, the archive figures and then three other figures, which you'll see in an upcoming video. And um, scanned it, register locked. Register locked. So I'm like, there's a freaking street date on this damn thing. So a uh, girl comes over. I'm like, can you help me, please? I know what they're going to do. At this point, I'm not surprised. It's Target. They always put stuff out too early and let me down. Uh, but I'm like, can you help me? I was very polite. I was very polite. She goes, let me get my manager. And I'm like, oh, are they going to override it? Hmm. Manager comes over. Manager took about five, eight minutes to come over. And I look at my Instagram. I'm looking at the interactions for the picture that I had just taken and posted on Instagram. And people are like, it's register lock. It's register lock. <laughs> it's register lock. I'm like, damn it. Uh, and some people, what they do is they'll actually scan a, a regular black series figure. That's not register lock. And then just do the switcheroo. I, I don't know. I have, I can't do that. I don't know why. I know you're, you're paying for it. You're not stealing anything, 
but I don't want some like security guy to come up to me while I'm walking out and cause a scene. That's the last thing I want. So I feel very uneasy doing that. I know other people, you scan one, you're paying for it. You're not stealing it. But I just, I don't know. It's something I just don't want a situation to develop over a toy. So I just, I wait it through and see if the manager's nice enough to maybe override it. She comes over. She's like, oh, sorry, sir. We can't sell this until, let's see, April 1st. And I'm like, what? That's four months away. And I, I think I literally said it like that. And she goes, I know, sir. And I'm like, why would you put something out that early? If it's four months away before you could sell it. She goes, I don't know. Someone just, I don't know. They just put it out by accident. We couldn't, we can't sell it. I'm sorry. I could if I would. Or I would if I could. <laughs> Something like that. I'm like, okay, I'll see you in four months. And then she took him and walked off. So that was my situation with the damn archive figures. They look great. Thrawn looks awesome. I really want to get a Thrawn before we see Thrawn on Disney+. Plus. But anyway, there's my little story. Uh, let's see here. I'm just quickly scanning the chat. The first 2007 Transformers was great. Then each movie got worse and worse. The last night was close to unwatchable. 110% agree, Stephen Turner. As soon as they went to Mark Wahlberg, it got so bad. Like, I like Shia LaBeouf, so I like those first three movies. First Transformers, great. Revenge of the Fallen, I actually like. It had a lot of great scenes in it. Stupid dialogue, some stupid scenes. Uh, and then the third one, Dark of the Moon. I thought that was really good. I thought that was damn good. It was very dark too. Um, and then as soon as Shia left and uh, they brought in Mark Wahlberg, I'm like, this is terrible. The last one was terrible. The only thing I did like about, I think it was four, the one where they introduced the Dinobots, I did like, what was his name? Lockdown, the bounty hunter transformer that had like a gun face. I kind of liked him. I thought he was kind of cool. Anyway, so here's what I picked up. and More stuff. Wow, you can hardly see him with my lighting. This is Runabout. This is another case where I ran into a register lock. I originally had this in my hands like a month ago, it seemed like, and uh, it register locked. Sorry, sir, we have to take it from you. We can't sell it yet. It's register locked. But I got it eventually. So I got that. And then I was able to find this one at Walmart. Bam. Soundwave. Freaking awesome. Earthrise Soundwave. So doesn't transform into a ridiculous spaceship. It transforms, baby, into bam, cassette tape player. Those of you that were not around in the 80s probably have no idea what that is. Before MP3s, before CDs. We had cassette tapes. I was around for records because I'm old as frick. But uh, I, my heyday in collecting music was cassette tapes. So I'm opening this one now. I got this one too. And it is Bug Bite. And it's an exclusive and it's sealed. So I don't know what he looks like yet. But I will know what he looks like in just a second here. Nate Simmons says, I had records and eight tracks. Um, I used to collect 45 records in like the early 80s. What would happen if you put that in a cassette player? If you put what in a cassette player? If you put a tape in a cassette player? Um, so anyway, there's Bug Bite. And he does have the mercenary symbol on his chest. And this is how, I don't know how he looks. I have to rewatch that trailer, but he is in Earthrise and he is with Double Dealer and I think it's the, the Coneheads and uh, what's his ass? I forgot the other guy he's with, but uh, Mercenary. Freaking awesome. Same sculpt as the uh, Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper, but even the same weapon. <laughs> that rocket launcher that kind of breaks apart and turns into a couple pistols, but... Pretty cool. I like it. So that was, I think I got that from Entertainment Earth. Exhaust. Thank you, Darth Primus. Exhaust is that other one. I do have him, by the way. Um, <clears throat> so one of my favorite Transformer guys uh, to watch on YouTube, besides T-Man, 
is Mgo. I also like Jobby, by the way, if you know who he is. But uh, Mgo is very, very um, cool. I like how he reviews other stuff besides just like the Hasbro stuff. Um, but he has been reviewing some uh, some add-on sets from DNA Design. And I saw him review this one, and I was like, that's freaking cool. Because I have all three of these Studio Series figures that this add-on set goes for. But this is a DNA Design DK-16. These add on to Studio Series figures, and it adds on to Blackout from the first Transformers movie, Sentinel Prime from Dark of the Moon, and then Bumblebee. So it's got like leg fillers and missile launcher for Bumblebee. It's got a big ass shield and a much better sword and a gun, that rust cannon that he killed Ironhide with for uh, Sentinel Prime. And then for uh, Blackout, new hands. He's got this like propeller weapon that he used on his hand when he was slicing up the cars at the end. A couple Gatling guns. And then what is that? That little cannon that came out of his chest when uh, Tyrese saw him and like the cannon came out. Anyway, this is freaking awesome. I can't wait to add these on to those Transformers. But DNA design, it looks great. They're like well painted. Is this thing open already? Can I show you what they look like? Let me show you real quick. Hello, everyone. Jonathan C. Senior 008 says, here is, so, like, look at the detail on Sentinel Prime sword. And look at that shield and then that propeller weapon. It's good stuff right there. So anytime you can make a figure that I already like better, Hell yes, I'm all for that. <clears throat> Montgomery Designs. Do you do you watch Rocco the Great on YouTube? I do not. I do not. Does anyone watch Rocco the Great on YouTube? And do you like that channel? Happy holidays, Cincy, and be safe. Thank you, Stuart. You too. Happy holidays to you. That gamer llama. The paint job could have been better. Um, on which one? On which one? Jonathan C. says Rocco is awesome. MCT Dog Rocco is a clown. Henry Tillis says he suck. Don15, I watch Rocco the Great. He's cool. He's all right. I love Rocco, Nicholas Choi says. Who's that? Mick Mac says. He's eh, Don15 says. So I, I have not watched him. Check him out, I guess, and um, see if you like his channel. Let's see here. All right. So this next one was a Loot Crate uh, exclusive, I guess they are. I keep looking up here because I'm expecting to see the camera there, but it's right there now. Bam. It's the uh, Turtles in Time Loot Crate Electrified. Which turtle is this? It's a non-descriptive turtle. So it could be any of the four getting electrocuted. It glows in the dark. It's cool looking. It's different as frick. I mean, that's about as different as you're going to get with a uh, TMNT figure. But uh, I really, really like the uh, additional stuff that they give you in this Loot Crate set. So there's a pin. I actually started getting into pins. I don't know what I'm going to do with them because uh, I don't know. I, I know people put them on backpacks and stuff or jackets or whatnot, but I just like the way it looked. That's a cool ass Krang right there. So it comes with that. Another pin, pizza. This is a keychain. I don't even know what the heck that is. Sewer surf in. Sewer surfing. Will's barking at something. Either I got a delivery or there's someone walking their dog out there. There's a metal token. This is made of metal. It's got some weight to it. Will, shut it! Sorry if I just yelled in your ear if you have earbuds in. Uh, and then it comes with a shirt, which I already, it's in the wash right now, but there's the shirt. It's like a long sleeve t-shirt. It's a turtle power. And then, uh, it comes with, uh, something that I used to love when I was a kid, puffy stickers. So I used to get puffy stickers for like Star Wars, Transformers, GI Joe, put them on my trapper keeper. So that shows my age right there. But uh, puffy stickers are freaking badass. So there you go. Sorry, Nerveen. I yelled in your ear. 
Uh, have you seen the new Starscream pop figure? I, yes, I have. Stuart, I've seen the Starscream pop. I've seen the Bumblebee pop. All the exclusives I've seen. I'm not collecting them, though. I am, however, co collecting the uh, all the pops from Mandalorian. So I am still doing pops. Oh, my Lord, that dog. Can you go see what he's barking at? Go see if there's a delivery or if there's a, a person walking or if there's another dog out there. Or if he's just a crazy psychopath. Do I collect Gremlins, that gamer llama? I actually thought about buying some of those NECA figures because I really, really like the way they look. Uh, but the thing that kind of... Uh, it doesn't turn me off about them, but it, it always kind of is in the back of my head. Is It looks like they're very hard to stand. So uh, if you collect the NECA Gremlins, are they very hard to... Yeah. Is he upstairs or downstairs? Downstairs. Can you shut the blinds? Yeah. That's how you trick a dog, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a dog that always barks when he sees random stuff, shut the blinds so he can't see it. Bam. There's some, there's some knowledge for you. <laughs> I got this, guys. This is um, a Mafex figure. So I got this, uh, I think it was Empire Toy, Toy Shop had a, a sale. Was it? Or was it Big Bad? I buy stuff from so many places, guys. I forget where I got it. It was either Big Bad or Empire Toy Shop. Had a sale on this guy. Mafex Cyclops. I've been wanting this one. I've been wanting the yellow Wolverine. I'm going to get the brown suit Wolverine. I'm going to get the Gambit. I'm go I'm in for the long haul on Mafex. Uh, I still need to get a Venom. I'm going to get the Dark Knight Mafex. I have the Hush Batman up there somewhere. Um, and then I have the cell shaded uh, Spider-Man, but this thing looks amazing. I haven't taken it out yet, kind of saving it for like a, a rainy day or a weekend, but it looks awesome in package. Mafex, 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 Medicom, 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 however you want to pronounce it, there's Cyclops. So um, pretty awesome right there. This one. Geez, I'm getting all the uh, register lock stuff. This one was register lock for me as well. Uh, and then I went back and got it later. It's a DC McFarlane figure. It is the uh, Thomas Wayne Batman. Flashpoint Batman, as some of them uh, have called him. But he actually showed up in uh, recently when uh, Batman Who Laughs was kind of recruiting all the Batman to fight Batman. Good Batman. Uh, there's the Thomas Wayne one. So I'm really excited for this. I really, really like this character, this kind of evil, grizzled Thomas Wayne Batman. I also like the Grim Knight, even though he's gone now. But um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Batman. And this one was really, really cool. Again, I originally tried to buy this. It was register lock. They confiscated it, but I got it now. Uh, what's left? We got three figures left, guys, and then uh, the rest of this, we're going to be just hanging out, kicking it, uh, kicking it old school. This one right here, I pre-ordered a long time ago. Totally forgot I pre-ordered it. Showed up randomly from Hasbro Pulse. Bam! Light blue Cobra Commander. So G.I. Joe Classified. Um, we need some uh, G.I. Joes to come out. It, I feel like we've been through a long dry spell of G.I. Joes recently. So very, very happy to finally get one. I am really, really looking forward to Zartan, Flint, and Lady J. I'm still wondering when the frick GameStop's going to ship my Red Ninjas. I pre-ordered the Red Ninjas. It feels like four or five months ago. They're still waiting for stock, I guess, but um, I still don't have the Red Ninjas. Uh, but yeah, what are they calling this? Regal? Regal Cobra Commander. There's a close-up. Right there. Pretty awesome. I like it. Probably, hmm. It's a contender for my favorite toy line of the year, of 2020. I love everything G.I. Joe has done with the Classified series so far. Uh, I got to think more about that because there's been a lot of great lines this year, including one of the best years ever for WWE Elite. And that's the last two things I got in this haul. I got two WWE Elite figures, and again, they started doing the digital face printing, so the face sculpts are so freaking good recently. 
Um, a lot of great, great, great figures in 2020 for WWE Elite. And both of these, I've seen them both just in box. I haven't taken them out yet. But both of these, I got to say, are definitely contenders for my favorite elites of the year. And I haven't even opened them. That's just how I feel about them looking at them in package. Here's the first one, Finn Balor. So that's the NXT Finn Balor. I like how he has the, the gun hand, the gun fingers. He also has like the new tattoos that he has, like the hand tattoo and stuff. Um, a proper serious looking Balor face, not smiling. But uh, really, really excited for this one. I think, so there's a channel called My Damn Toys. He specializes in like WWE Elite and wrestling figures. And he just did his favorite figures of 2020. And I think this was his favorite, the Balor. So I don't know if it's going to be my favorite, but a lot of the ones he had on his countdown, I have in mine. I'm not sure if I'm going to do just the WWE Elite favorites of 2020. I might break up my favorites. You know, I usually do the Cincy Awards and do like, Everything over like 100 bucks, and then everything under 100 bucks. I might do something a little different this year just to change it up, keep it fresh. So I might do like my favorite WWE elites, my favorite Transformers of the year, my favorite six inch figures of the year. So, like all the G.I. Joes, Black Series. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to do something different though, I think. So that's the first one, Finn Balor. Just checking out the comments real quick. Liquid Momentum, I don't have that figure yet. I really want it, though. Um, he said, Liquid Momentum said Hollywood Hogan. That figure looks amazing, but I don't have it. Montgomery Designs, did you stop collecting Marvel Legends? No, I still collect them. As a matter of fact, there's some X-Men up there. Um, I just took them off my shelves because I, I'm hoping Santa brings me two additional Detolfs, and I can repose and replace my collection. Because... Uh, the way that I'm thinking now, I have I have a lot of Marvel Legends, and they'll probably take up almost a full Detolf with all four shelves full. So I'm hoping I get a couple new Detolfs for Christmas. And um, I'm thinking about, so you see all of the hot toys here. I'm thinking about putting all my hot toys over here and then putting all of the non-hot toys over here. So I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But here's the final thing in this haul. It is another WWE Elite figure. Uh, it is one of my current favorite wrestlers on the uh, WWE roster, Raw or SmackDown. But he is awesome. I've seen him perform live. I high-fived him when I was sitting front row at an NXT show. He is from the state that I live in right now, Texas. And he is Keith Lee basking in his glory. So there's the Keith Lee. And I got to say, just looking at it, now this... What I'm looking at right now, the video, not doing this any any justice because I look at it now, this is an amazing face sculpt. This is a great, great, great face sculpt. So there's the Keith Lee. There is a variant of this one where he's got, I think it's like gray attire, but um, I really like this one. So there you go, guys. I got a lot of stuff to open. I didn't show any Star Wars stuff because I'm planning on doing a dedicated video to a Star Wars haul because I got some Black Series figures. I got two hot toys. I got some vintage collection stuff. So I'm probably going to do a Star Wars only, um, a Star Wars only uh, video. And I might show you some, uh, like a portion of my collection too in that for Star Wars. I totally forgot that that loot crate also comes with this accessory right here. I have no idea what to use this for, but it's a television that has like, it's got like lenticular on it. And it shows like Shredder, and then it shows, is that April? But it's like a TV, so, and then it's got like a little thing on the back, so you can hang it on like a wall. But I'm not sure what to do with this. So, I don't know if it was included, if this is like something that was shown in the video game. I gotta play the video game again, but I'm not sure. But anyway, I wanted to share that. So, I need to get a drink here, and then, uh... So chat it up. Holy frick. I just noticed there's 174 people in here on a Monday afternoon. Once again, guys. So I just went through my haul. If you're joining me late, um, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. Stay safe. We're going to hang out a little bit more. I got about 40 minutes to hang out before I got to hit the treadmill. But let me see if I can catch up somewhat on these comments. Uh, <clears throat> while I drink, I'm going to scroll. 
Hollywood Hogan got them butterfly joints. What? That's awesome. So Robbie Hart says Hollywood Hogan has butterfly joints. That's very cool. Nathan Simmons, what's on the contender list for hot toys this year? Um, we got Thanos from Endgame. We have Aquaman from the Aquaman movie. We have uh, Hawkeye from Endgame with the deluxe version that comes with the Ronin outfit. And then we have the Mandalorian, the first version, because I don't have the Beskar Steel one yet. I'm still paying it off. But um, And then obviously Hulkbuster with the jackhammer arm. So those I think are probably my five favorites of the year, but I'm not sure because um, I could get another one here soon before the year ends. But there you go, Nathan. Those are my favorite ones, I think, so far this year. All right, where the frick did I leave off? I'm just going to start here. So if you asked something earlier and I missed it, I apologize. Please repost it. But GeForce Racing 20 says, Hasbro gave a statement saying they underestimated <laughs> the popularity of G.I. Joe. That's awesome. So they're going to start producing more, and we're going to get more on the shelves. Hell yes. And hopefully they'll uh, show up in other stores besides just Target. Uh, Andrew says, uh, what new Star Wars characters from the Mandalorian do you hope? Oh, man. Holy freaking crap, dude. They could. Oh, there's so many characters. There's so many characters that I would buy the hot toys for. You start with, uh, let's just go freaking episode by episode this season. Cobb Vanth. I would buy a Cobb Vanth figure with the Timmy, Timothy Oliphant head sculpt in the Boba Fett armor. That would be an awesome figure to have. So I would buy that one. I would buy Boba Fett and his robe and his gaffy stick and his rifle just chilling, hanging out, watching on frickin' uh, Tatooine. I would buy that figure with no armor. Um, what was the second episode? Uh, was that Frog Lady? I think second episode is Frog Lady. I would not buy a Hot Toys of Frog Lady. <laughs> uh, let, I'm not going to go episode by episode because I lost track of which episodes were which. I would buy a Bo-Katan. I would, I would definitely buy a Bo-Katan. I might possibly buy Sasha Banks' character too, but definitely a Bo-Katan. Uh, I would buy uh, Boba Fett in his jacked up armor with like the black like kind of skirt piece on. I would buy... Uh, repainted Boba Fett. I would buy uh, a Dark Trooper. Um, I already have Moff Gideon on pre-order. Man, who am I forgetting? Um, hell, I, I would probably even buy it because I like his, I like Bill Burr. I lis I've listened to his podcast. I like his stand-up comedy. It would be cool to kind of have a Mayfeld Hot Toys figure, maybe in the, um, the, the, what was that thing called? Juggernaut, a Juggernaut pilot outfit. Um, and then I don't want to give spoilers about the finale, but I would buy a certain character that we saw in that. Um, who am I forgetting, guys? Who am I forgetting that was a character that was revealed this year? Because I would buy them all. I would freaking go broke. I kind of want them to do hot toys for all of them. I kind of don't want them to do hot toys for all of them. I kind of, you know, what would be awesome is if they did a San Diego Comic Con three pack. And I only say that I know you guys don't like Comic Con exclusives, or some of you don't like them because they're hard to get and they're expensive. But then they could always uh, do individual figures later. But a three pack of Boba Fett's, all Boba Fett's, and you got one in the like the Tatooine robe with the gaffy stick and the rifle. No armor. You got another one with the effed up armor. And then you got another one with the repainted armor. How freaking sweet would that be? Black Series, three pack, all Boba Fett's. That would be badass. Fennec, there's another character. A Fennec would be cool. A Cara Dune. They haven't even freaking done a Cara Dune. I'd love to buy a Gina Carano Hot Toys figure. She was awesome in the finale. <clears throat> um, so there you go. Let's see. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom just to see what you guys are saying based on what I just said on that. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Where did it start? It started. Don't sleep on the new hot toys from Iron Spider. It's good. Oh, you're talking about the video game one, Nate. 
Are you talking about the red and yellow video game one with the three like uh, ten, uh, legs on the back? Dallas Vintage Toys has that. I saw they uh, they had that one. I have not seen any reviews of that yet. Oh, sweet. So Chris Barcode says the TV was an accessory for your cartoon turtles. And that works out great because I'm actually going to turn my cartoon turtle display into two shelves. I currently have all my cartoon turtles on one shelf. But when I eventually get Andrew, Andrew, Android, <laughs> Android Krang body for my Krang and I get Splinter and Baxter, I'm going to do an all good guys cartoon turtle shelf and I'm going to do a bad guys cartoon turtle shelf. So that's the, this little TV thing will fit in perfectly. Uh, let's see. Stephen G, love your videos, man, from your fellow Texan. How's it going, Stephen G? Hot Toys Mark 85 released in Asia today. I saw that. And I'm not nearly as disappointed with the Tony face sculpt as a lot of people are. Mostly because I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to pose him with it. I'm going to pose him with the helmet on. Because my goal for that 85, I'm not going to buy the snap version. I don't want to buy the version that he dies in. I want to buy the version that he kicks butt in right after Avengers Assemble when he's up in the air with Pepper and she's in rescue and they're back to back freaking zapping bad guys. That's how I'm going to display him. I'm going to display him with rescue with Pepper Potts because that was an awesome moment. I want to remember awesome moments, not death moments. So I know a lot of people are high on the snap version of Tony. I'm not going to get that. Um, and I say that now and I'll probably end up getting it, but I plan on not getting it at this point. <clears throat> Mostly because it's like 400 and some dollars. So I don't need two versions of a figure that are $400. Uh, BC Canada in the house, Jonathan C says. I just got my Hot Toys solo Darth Maul today. Did you grab one? Stink Fist, I have one more payment or I paid it off and I'm waiting for it. One of those. I either paid it off and I'm waiting for it or I have one more payment. But I did get one. It's just I'm waiting for it. Uh, Ivan Frias, I'm going to watch The Exorcist. Peace. Have fun watching The Exorcist. Ivan, thanks for joining. Boba with the red lights on his chest armor. Uh, let's see here. Just picked up the King Sphinx and Pumpkin Wrapper figures from Target. I saw the Pumpkin Wrapper figure. Um, I took a picture of it, put it on Instagram. Check out my Instagram if you're not following me on there, by the way. It's just under Cincy Nerd. But um, I went there the next day and it was gone. So, yeah, it's a popular figure. It looks cool. I'm assuming more than just Power Rangers collectors are going to get that figure just because it's so random and it's a badass looking figure. So um, I'm assuming that that might be hard to find. Country Club says Sasha Banks or Sasha Fierce. Darth Primus says Cara Dune Hot Toy. I'm not going to read Liquid Momentum's comment, but just in case uh, someone hasn't seen the finale. I'm assuming most people have seen the finale by now. Um, I know one person in here, if he's still in here, has not seen it, so I don't want to spoil it. Uh, Shoji C, I would buy Bo, Sasha's character, Boba in the new armor, Billy Freckles, Bill Burr, even the blank with the blank. Uh, oh, my Lord. Never enough tech. And Ionicus. How did I forget Ahsoka? That was one of my favorite episodes this season. Rosario Dawson Ahsoka. I would love, absolutely love. That's a day one pre-order for me. An Ahsoka Hot Toys figure. That would be amazing. Freaking amazing. Uh, let's see here. That character is on pre-order on Sideshow. Which character? The character that I'm not saying? I think I know what you're talking about. Justin Shannon, my damn notifications would never work. Gilster, Cobb Vanth. Hell yes. I'm a big fan of Timothy Oliphant. I loved uh, the show Justified. Uh, he's good in everything he's in. He's a good actor. So I really liked his character. And I really, really loved that first episode of Mando. Fighting the Crate Dragon. I just loved that episode. It was so cool. So... Oh, I would love a, a Hot Toys figure. Emo Peter, I met Ray Park at Dallas Vintage Toys yesterday. Was he pretty cool? 
He looked really cool in the videos, interacting with people, doing the freaking stuff with the double bladed lightsaber. Um, it, it looked like a lot of fun. Not my bag though, because I don't like big crowds of people. So I don't know. There was a lot of people there, but um, yeah. Anyway, all the criticism of Tony Stark sculpt, yet hardly anyone displays their Iron Man without their helmeted version. I have two with helmets, and I have two unhelmeted. <clears throat> I currently have my Mark IV up there with the gantry without a helmet, and I currently have my Mark, I think that's a 50 from Infinity War. Was that a 50? Um, I have that without helmet. Ionicus, thanks for being here. Uh, Ionicus says, well, I'm out. Got to start work soon. Have a good night. Uh, you have a good night too, my friend. Thanks for being here. Sorry, I meant uh, end game Thanos figure arts with the red gauntlet. Ah, okay. Shoji C says, <clears throat> I was waiting in line. It was a pain. Oh, okay. So Emo Peter says, uh, waiting for uh, Ray Park was kind of a pain waiting in line. They wanted to keep people safe though. Social distance, not let it a ton of people in there at one time. So I understand why they did that, but I also understand that waiting in a long line, although I think it was nice yesterday. So at least it wasn't raining. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Where was I? Pumpkin wrapper. Oh, Nate Simmons said, I'm still waiting on my Cody to arrive from the sideshow. I actually did not get the Cody. I did not get the Cody. I'm thinking about getting the Rex though. Um, and displaying it with a 5.0 first. I'm not sure. I'm also thinking, I have a lot of conflicting th thoughts right now with my Hot Toys stuff, specifically Star Wars. And the reason for that is because they are doing a lot of Mandalorian figures. And honestly, the Mandalorian is one of the greatest... Let me think now. The Mandalorian is the greatest television show I've ever seen. I had to think about that because I had to think about my favorite other television shows like Stranger Things. I, do, I did love Lost. I did love Game of Thrones. I did love uh, Breaking Bad. Mandalorian is my favorite TV show of all time. I could say that confidently right now. So because I love that show so, so very much and they keep producing hot toys for the Mandalorian, I actually thought about only collecting Mandalorian Star Wars Hot Toys figures and not collecting anything else from any other movie. So again, conflicting thoughts. And if I did that, that would mean that I wouldn't get any of the Clone Wars figures, any of the prequel figures. I mean, I, I can't not collect original trilogy figures. I don't know. It's a lot to think about. It's a lot of money. That's the thing. You got to, you got to really, because this hobby is expensive. You have to carefully, carefully consider what you're spending your money on or you will go broke quick. So that's kind of where I am right now. That's my headspace right now. Uh, Uber Hulk says, have fun. I'm going looking at Christmas lights. Ha Dude, that sounds so fun. Uh, have, have a good time, Uber Hulk. He says, I have a Bill Murray Christmas, so don't get Scrooge. Oh, have a Bill Murray Christmas. Okay. Uh, Stinkfist69. Dude, I totally think they're going to do a Shore Trooper again. They redid the Death Trooper. Everyone has been clamoring for a Shore Trooper. That figure on the secondary market is just ridiculous. Like $600, $700. Ridiculous money. I can easily, I mean, it's an easy, easy, easy win for hot toys right now. So just reissue the shore trooper and slap Mandalorian on it. Um, I could easily see that being done. So I'm, I would say if I was going to, if I'm a betting man, I would say I'm like 90% sure they're going to redo the shore trooper. And if it gets announced here within the next week, I called it. So uh, let's see here. I got to boot someone because uh, there's a, an ass clown in here. So hold on here. Let me go ahead and do this. Okay. Had to boot an ass clown. 
Nothing like boot and ass clowns. <laughs> How much time do I got? I got 26 minutes before I got to go exercise. Um, all right. Let me see if I can catch up with the comments here. I need moderators to boot ass clowns. Short Trooper, oh, I already read that. Good time to buy and sell Star Wars Hot Toys with the 600 stimulus checks. Come Stimulus checks? I didn't hear anything about that. Uh, Justin Shannon, yes, Mando is the best show ever. Robbie Hart, Pedro, is it confirmed for season three? I'm a huge fan of Pedro Pascal. Um, check out his other stuff, by the way. Check out some of the movies he's done. He's a really, really good actor. Uh, and again, he's going to be in Wonder Woman as uh, Max Lord. Love how they are crossing over to the old characters. Uh, Liquid Momentum says, 100% I agree. Just another comic show. So Muppet Babies, not your favorite. Muppet Babies. I was a little old when that came out. I was a little bit older, so I, did, I never really got into that. I was into the Muppets. I watched the Muppet show. Uh, that was kind of my bag. Night of Ren, season three of Mando should bring in Cad Bane. He's dead. I think he's dead. Uh, Stink Fist, you said it earlier, justified and missed that show. Great characters. Nate Simmons, it's a bad rabbit hole with hot toys. Uh, Montgomery Designs, you say that until the 2021 movie TV lineup. Kanji Club, do you think we'll get Baby Rancor in Book of Boba? <laughs> Baby Rancor. <laughs> That's amazing. That's comment of the chat right there, right? <laughs> Kanji Club. <laughs> Baby Rancor. Oh, man. <clears throat> Century said, uh, I've seen it a million times over, man. Decision-making as a collector these days is paramount. Uh, let's see. Okay. Jonathan says, Cincy and Rocco are the top two best. They're both entertaining. Thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate that. Emo Peter says, he was killed off during the Clone Wars when Boba killed him. I just made Nate Simmons a moderator. <laughs> Nate, you're a moderator. He says, you never, you know, I never have problem booting people. There you go, Nate. You're now a moderator on my channel. Brad Pitt's in here. He says, did you get the new AEW series two? I pre-ordered them from ringside. I think I have to wait till February to get them, but yeah, I got them. Really, really excited for those. And I pre-ordered the ones that I wanted from series three as well, which I think was just orange Cassidy and Darby. Oh, and Pac. I got Pac, too. Uh, Mando is the best toy commercial since the G1, G.I. Joe, and Transformers cartoons. You're 100% right. It is. Um, let's see here. Two seasons of Narcos. Uh, Mrs. Cincy watched all of Narcos. I didn't watch any of that, but she said it was a great show. Cad Bane isn't dead. When did he die during Clone Wars, Night of Ren says? Uh, since you're watching uh, Wonder Woman 84 on HBO Max or theater, unfortunately, all my theaters are shut down. Um, I'm going to do both. I'm going to watch it here in the house on Christmas Day on HBO Max. And then I'm probably going to watch it in the theater um, at the local one to support those guys. <clears throat> Montgomery Designs, I'm calling it now. In 2020, Baby Chewbacca is coming. How about uh, Baby Ben Solo? That is a possible, or young Ben Solo. That is a real possibility. They could get that kid, is his name Finn Wolfhard or whatever his name is? He's on uh, Stranger Things. They could get him to play young Ben Solo. He kind of looks like uh, Adam Driver. Uh, Hondo will show up in the, Hondo will show up in, of the new, in one of the new Star Wars shows, RMD says. Thoughts on the face scans for series three? Oh, I didn't actually look close at the face scans. Uh, the Pac looked a little off. I think the orange looked good and the Darby looked okay. I think the Pac looked a little off to me though, if I remember correctly. Are they anim animatic cannon? Are they anim or animated cannon? Baby Jar Jar. No one wants that. Nate, my brother, how are you doing, my friend? Kiwi says. Baby Ray. Oh! Possibility. Possibility. 
Baby Ray, Nate says, uh, what is the most expensive figure you ever bought? And what is it? <clears throat> that would be the Hot Toys Hulkbuster figure, which cost, I'm trying to think if it, it was a thousand or 1200. I think it was a thousand. That's definitely my, the most expensive figure that I've ever purchased, like retail purchased. Uh, let's see here. Thoughts on the Moff Gideon Hot Toy. This is Century, by the way. Thoughts on the Moff Gideon Hot Toy. I love his armor and cape. Wish he got another head sculpt that showed some emotion. And I need to see more of the Darksaber. I agree with you. I agree with you. I, I don't know if that's going to be the final head, uh, face sculpt. I think it, I think that might be a prototype. I think we might see something slightly different when it releases. Uh, but I, I like everything about it so far. I'm with you, though. I'm with you, though. I need to see more of the Darksaber. Obviously, it's going to be a light-up Darksaber arm. Um, and the face, I'm fine with the face, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if it changes slightly. KC says back to, uh, I'm sorry. KC says, good to see you live. It's been a minute. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all. Uh, Stink Fist, Pedro is in the first and second season of Narcos. Chris Barcode, I want to hear the tragic tale of the dark monkey lizards and how powerful they used to be. Dark monkey lizards. Darth Primus, the acolyte, could feature the true baby Yoda, depending on, on the timeline. <clears throat> Knight of Ren, we'll see some First Order in Mando. We will. They hinted at it a few times in the last couple episodes. The word order was used. Order. Restore order. We'll bring order back to the galaxy. Order, order, order. They're just throwing it in there. They want us to, oh, yeah, first order. That's right. They're, um, I imagine by the end of season five, I think they're going five seasons of, of Mando. By the end of season five, the first order is going to be pretty prominent. Let's see here. I didn't order the Riho. Show GC, uh, I did not order the Riho. But he said, uh, Riho looks uh, horrible. <clears throat> Do you think that guy in the end will be back in season three? That guy in the, at the end. at the Oh, at the end, before the end? No. I don't think we're going to see him again. I think that was, uh, that was a one and done appearance. And uh, it was awesome. I'll leave it at that. It was absolutely awesome. And it was the Christmas present none of us were expecting. Uh, Peter says, hi from the UK. Massive shout out to Stuart Fulbrook, who's fast asleep. Stuart's sleeping. He, he needs to get his sleep. Get his beauty rest. Baby Ugnaughts, the gamer llama says. <clears throat> Bo-Katan would be a nice Hot Toys figure. 100%. And I think they'll do it. Should Disney Plus release the 90s Young Indie series? I'm trying to remember it. I'm trying to remember that. I can't remember it. I cannot remember that. I know I watched it, but I just cannot. I couldn't tell you a single thing that happened in that series. <clears throat> Montgomery says, WandaVision, Falcon, and Winter Soldier, or Loki? What are you looking forward to the most? Winter Soldier and Falcon. Then Loki, then WandaVision. WandaVision just looks freaking weird to me. Uh, it looks like a, a mind trip. And um, I just hope that it's, I hope that they get to the point sooner than later where it's more straightforward as opposed to just wackiness. Because I know they're going to go with the wackiness. And I hope it lands. But um, I know at some point it's going to be very, very straightforward with the storyline. And I just hope that it gets there quicker than later. Nate, thanks for being here, dude. And congrats on being our new moderator. <laughs> but he's got to take care of his four Rugrats. Thank you, everyone, for the love and support this year. Happy holidays, everyone. Nate, I love you, buddy. Uh, take care, my friend. Uh, let's see here. Justin says, my wife has a theory that Moff Gideon is a Mandalorian and that is how he knows so much about them. So I read something or heard something that he is the head of like the information gathering part of the empire. 
So like they have like, imagine if the empire had like a CIA and their job was responsible for gathering intelligence. I believe Moff Gideon was the head of that group. So I think that's why he knows so much about everything. And that's also why he knows that Palpy is on Exegol. And I think we're going to hear that, that planet's name at some point during this show. Let's see. Let's see. Will the Hot Toys Mando with speeder bike include the spear as a last minute add on? I think it might be too late for that. And obviously, you know, they could sell another version of the Mando with the spear and with another accessory uh, as yet another money grab. But um, I, I don't think they're going to include the spear. Sentry says, I'm good with the face. I think it's a good likeness. I just hope to see a little more emotion. I also kind of wish he donned a helmet on the show. I've got a huge affinity for helmeted characters. I thought at some point he would have a helmet as well, honestly. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. I thought that he would have some kind of helmet, but he never did. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. No questions asked. I'd pre-order Rosario Dawson Ahsoka. Brewers Baseball says. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? <laughs> Yeah, they tried to drop that word <laughs> a lot in the last couple episodes there. Uh, let's see. Have a good night, Samurai Chris. Thanks for being here. Snoke has Grogu's blood. Clones. Yeah, I got to kind of wonder. They were looking for a donor to study his blood. They wanted to study his blood. But is that blood going to go towards... Snoke to make clones or is it going to go towards Palpy to resurrect him or both? What do they need a being with a high M count for? Which being are they going to create and or resurrect with that blood? <clears throat> uh, let's see. Michael Taylor says, how's it going, Michael Taylor? He says, uh, if you watch Star Wars Theory or uh, Aiden of Ner of nerds, they have been talking about possibly a blank show based around his academy. By the way, I watched Star Wars Theory. That dude freaking lost it watching the uh, the finale. He uh, he filmed a reaction video, and uh, I saw some people did cry. I cried on like the second or third viewing of the uh, finale. I cried some tears of joy, but man, Star Wars Theory. I wanted to freaking give that guy a hug and give him a Kleenex. He freaking lost it on camera <laughs> and he said he goes well there's 30,000 people watching right now he was live streaming and he had 30,000 people watching and hit and like the the chat was just like brrr, like you couldn't even read a single comment can you imagine can you imagine if you had 30,000 people watching you simultaneously live that's insane. He's got like 2.7 million subscribers. I cannot wrap my head around that. That's insane. Anyway, uh, let's see. He and Den of Nerds do a live stream tonight. Oh, very cool. Uh, so who would win in a fight between the Mandalorian and Bo-Katan? Uh, Mandalorian or Bo-Katan? Well, Mandalorian, of course. I think he would definitely win. That would be pretty funny if revived Palpy runs on baby Yoda blood. <laughs> what is your favorite Marvel Legends figure of all time and why? That's a good question. And I don't know. I'd have to think about that. It's a really good question. Of all time. I don't know. Um... I don't know. I really like that new retro Spider-Man with the butterfly joints. I really like Rogue. I'm just trying to think of the ones that I'm always like looking at and posing. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Brewer says uh, Pedro for president. 
Kevin, Kevin Sampson says, do you like uh, AE then WWE? I like them both. I like WWE and AEW. Don Draper says, I don't know. Mando, all right, got beat by a woman. Oh, yeah. Who did he get his butt kicked by? I know he got his uh, – I don't want to give spoilers in the finale. He did get his butt kicked, though, in the finale. <clears throat> AEW. Are you asking who I like more, AEW, or which promotion I like more? I like them both, but I get more excited for AEW, honestly. I've been watching WWE since consecutively since 98. But AEW, new, fresh, new talent. I really, really enjoy it more. I get excited for it. I always watch AEW live on Wednesday night, and I record NXT. Um, but that doesn't take anything away from WWE. I still love WWE. I watch it. I watch Raw, SmackDown, NXT. But I just, uh, I don't know. I'm more excited for AEW. That lightning round was slick as frick. <laughs> Jedi Howard says. Um, I think I might do lightning round with, uh, with Robo, too. I'm going to figure out what kind of questions I got to ask for lightning round for Robo. Uh, Jeremy Walker, did you pick up the Hot Toys Leia and Ewok two pack? No, I have just the Leia. I, I have just the Endor Leia. I didn't get the Ewok, the Wicket. I didn't really like the way Wicket looked. I didn't think he looked screen accurate, so I didn't get that one. Brewer says, uh, Dave Filoni says he considers the unfinished episodes canon. So technically, Cad Bane is dead. <clears throat> Cincy, what do you think of AEW and Impact Invasion? I think it's freaking cool. I like it. I'm really excited for it. Um, I like seeing Kenny over there. I like seeing him, seeing him with uh, the Good Brothers. I think it's fun, exciting. It opens up a lot of possibilities. Um, so, yeah, I like it. Hoping Hot Toys makes a Gamorrean guard. That would be badass. Uh, it was strange how that was... Uh, I don't understand that gamer llama. Uh, let's see. Who's your Spider-Man? Toby, Andrew, or Tom? Who's my favorite Spider-Man? I think it's Toby Maguire, honestly. Um, I think it's Toby Maguire. I didn't really like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Because he let me take that back. I liked Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. I did not like Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker. He was perfect, almost perfect as Spider-Man, but he was too cool to be Peter Parker. Peter Parker is supposed to be a freaking nerd. Tobey Maguire fit that role perfectly. Tom Holland, more of like a lovable nerd, like, like he's uh, kind of nerdy, but he's likable too. But um, I don't know. I like them all. I like Jake Johnson as Spider-Man, too, from the uh, Spider-Verse. <clears throat> I hope Tobey Maguire signs with Spider-Verse soon. Do you remember the first figures which, start, which started you collecting, and what is it? Can you tell us about that? The first figures that I started collecting, the first figure I ever got was a hand-me-down from my brother in the late 70s, I think. It was called a Shogun Warrior because um, they were for him. They were his. He didn't, he was, he's eight years older than me. So he, I think he started not liking toys and he gave it to me. So I, I got that and then Star Wars came out. And then I saw Empire Strikes Back in a theater in 1980. And I, th I think that was the first movie I ever saw. I might be wrong, though. I think I might have seen The Black Hole um, in a theater, the Disney movie The Black Hole. But I remember seeing The Empire Strikes Back in a theater in 1980 as a five-year-old and just being mind-blown, absolutely mind-blown. Like my whole universe, my, my whole how I saw things in the world – changed because of a freaking movie because of empire strikes back so i instantly be became a fan and then um i would go and do chores around the house and then i'd go with my mom to get groceries on saturday morning and um i remember seeing star wars toys on the pegs and going to 
because um, we would go to, if I can remember, we would go to stores. They don't even exist anymore. James Way, Zares, Bradley's. We'd go to like stores. My mom would go shopping and then we'd go to a place called Basics for groceries. And uh, at James Way and Zares and stuff, they'd have Star Wars toys. And she would buy me one Star Wars toy, one figure for the week if I did all my chores. And that's how I got started in collecting. Doing chores around the house, earning money, getting a Star Wars toy. It evolved into G.I. Joe's. It evolved into Transformers. It evolved into He-Man, Thundercats, all those GoBots, all those properties that mask, all those things that came out in the 80s. And um, in the 90s, I started getting into sports cards and comic books, especially in the late 80s, early 90s comic books. And then I got back into action figures and toys. But I've, I've been collecting my whole life. Montgomery Designs, did you get depressed after Star Wars ended in 83? I did not because other stuff came out right after that. If you think about it, Star Wars ended in 83 and Transformers came out in 84. G.I. Joe was already out. So it was a progression. Something ends, you get into something new. Something ends, something new. So I never got sad that any of that stuff ended or that I lost interest or moved on to something else. It was just, it was like, it was like a pinball. When, when I was a kid in the 80s, going from one thing to the other. Woolworths. Holy frick, dude. I totally remember Woolworths. Knight of Ren brought that up. I used to go to Woolwor Woolworths and buy sports cards at Woolworths. I remember that. I used to go, if anyone here is from Northern Virginia, I used to go to Tyson's Corner Mall, and they had a Woolworths. And uh, my mom and I would eat. We'd go, we'd go to, like, shopping at night. Because my dad used to work at nights because he um, did sales and he would have appointments and stuff. So we'd go, my mom and I would go to the mall. We went to Burger King and I would get, <laughs> I would get like a kid's meal. And then we'd go to Woolworth and I'd get like sports cards and, and toys at Woolworths. Holy crap, dude. You just brought back some memories there. Comic books too. They had comic books too at Woolworth. Do I like Godzilla? Tony, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I love reminiscing, dude. Uh, did you guys have a store called Venture by you? No, I don't remember that one. Best Company, Zares, James Way, Bradley's, what the frick, Dark Drug, Fantles, People's Drug. Those are the stores I used to find, like, Dark Drug. I found my, that's the one that, I, if you've been a long-term watcher of this channel, one of my favorite memories is when my dad bought me a Star Wars figure. It was a Snow Trooper, and I got that one at Dark Drug. Because he ran out of, uh, he used to drink Diet Coke, and he ran out of his two liter bottles of Diet Coke, and we were, uh, we stopped there, and he was getting his Diet Coke, and I saw this snow trooper. I was like, Dad, can you buy this for me? My dad never ever bought me toys. My mom was the one that always bought me toys, so he was hesitant because he's like, Didn't your mom just buy you a toy this past week? And I'm like, Yeah, but I really want this one. He's like, Okay, put it in the cart. And that was just a moment I'll always remember. That Snow Trooper Empire Strikes Back toy, my dad bought it for me. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a, a memory for sure. One of my grails. I mean, obviously I collect a lot of new stuff, but one of my grails is to get that figure, that Empire Strikes Back Snow Trooper on card, in like pristine condition. Eventually, and then maybe even to get it like graded, an AFA one. So Dallas Vintage Toys probably has one, but that's a grail. That's like a, a long-term grail that I'll feel like fulfilled getting that just because of that memory of my dad buying that for me. Anyway, there is a tangent, guys. Uh, let's see here. Michael Taylor, did you have Kitty City? No, I did not. I have seen figures go into toy department and stuff where they had that Kitty City sticker on a card. I'm like, what the frick was Kitty City? We didn't have that. Or at least if we had it, it wasn't near me. We did have Toys R Us though. Toys R Us, I didn't get to go to a lot when I was a kid. That was special occasions. We went to Toys R Us when it was my birthday before Christmas because we would go before Christmas and I would go around and be like, mom, I want that. I want that. I want this. And she'd make a list because we also get those like big ass thick toy catalogs. And then we also got like on Sunday mornings, I think it was the day after Thanksgiving, we would get like a supplement. Um, all these like catalogs for stors. Um, Cause obviously we didn't have the internet back then, 
But I remember we would get like the toy catalogs for the stores and I would like circle the ones that I wanted. That's how I ended up getting like the Rattler. <clears throat> that was the best Christmas ever. I got the Rattler. I got a Mobat. Those are like my two favorite Christmas gifts ever. And I also got a Sega Master System. I remember getting that and that was a phenomenal gift. Um, what was I saying? Toys R Us? Yeah, I didn't go there very often. It was just special occasions. That was like a tangent on a tangent. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Buck Wild says, Kitty City had a kangaroo the way TRU had the giraffe. Tom said there was a Kitty City in Parkville, Maryland. I grew up in the D.C. area, so I don't know. We didn't have one in – I was in Fairfax County. I don't remember a Kitty City. That's another one, King Dingling Child World. I don't remember that. I don't remember having one of those near me. But um, again, I see little stickers on like vintage cards that say Child World. As a matter of fact, I think one of my mask boxes has a Child World sticker on it. Montgomery says, I gotta go. Hope you and your fam have a very merry, blessed Christmas and happy new year. Thanks for the live chats throughout the year. Had a lot of fun chatting about collecting. Dude, I had a lot of fun too. Thanks for being here and Merry Christmas and happy, happy holidays to you. My throat's getting dry. I'm at an hour and 31. I'm going to go like maybe five, 10 more minutes and then I got to hit the treadmill and maybe chug like a gallon of water because my throat is, I feel like I'm on Tatooine right now. My throat is so damn dry. Kevin Sampson, I do love Ninja Turtles and you can't see it, can you? <clears throat> see that? Those are my cartoon NECA Turtles. Those are my movie NECA Turtles. Those are my Super 7 toy homage turtles. I love my turtles. I love them. And now I got to get the camera to where it was. Right about there? Right about there. <clears throat> Night of Rent says, I'm 22 years old. How the frick do I know about Woolworth? I don't know, dude. How do you know about Woolworth? Uh, let's see. Child's World was mostly Northeast, I think, New England area, Stephen Turner says. Uh, Tom Bowling says, eventually bo -Katan is going to have to take on the Mandalorian for the Dark Saber. Uh, or, or they could go WWE or wrestling route. Or Mando, something happens to Mando. He loses the Dark Saber in battle with someone else. And then Bo beats that person. Because in wrestling, they don't like faces to go against faces. If you're a good guy and there's another good guy and one wants the title, they usually have the good guy lose to a bad guy and then the good other good guy beat the bad guy. And that's how they do the belt transfer so they don't have a good guy beating a good guy because you don't want that to happen. So it doesn't necessarily have to be Din Jaren versus Bo-Katan. Din Jaren can lose that Darksaber in battle and then Bo can beat the bad guy. Dr. 5000, when are you doing the office tour video? Um, after, maybe uh, in the new year, early in the new year, because I'm still, again, hopefully Santa brings me a couple of detolfs um, so I can really fix my collection, not have stuff on the floor, not have stuff in the closet. I want to space it out a little bit. And two detolfs would be perfect. Mike Brown, what size flight stand? Did you get for X-Wing? So first thing, I posted a picture on uh, IG of the X-Wing in flight position with a flight stand. And a lot of people asked, where'd you get the flight stand? And it's from flightpose.com. I have no affiliation with them, but that's just where I bought it. So I want to tell you guys so you can get one too. And I believe that was the medium size version. There's three versions and that was like the, the medium one. All right. I think that's it, guys. Last question for you, my friend. Do you think you have most power in the universe? Thank you. Uh, and Merry Xmas to you and your family. Uh, I do not have the most power in the universe. That would be He-Man that has the power. But I think I'm going to call it a video, guys. Even though we have 159 strong in here. If you liked this, uh, this live stream, please give a thumbs up. I appreciate it. But... Um, my throat is dry as hell, and I got to hit the treadmill uh, before I eat some Subway for dinner tonight. 
I'm definitely going to live stream again, again, later on this year before the new year. And then again, little spoiler, Robo from the Foosh is going to be on this channel, probably in a live stream in the near future. We're not sure on the date, but I wanted to share that because I'm really excited for that. But uh, that's something to look forward to. And then possibly in the new year, Ethan Page Part 2, where we talk about Marvel Legends. So that's it for now, guys. I appreciate it once again. Thanks for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Thanks for watching the Toy Hall. Have a great week. It's Christmas week. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Take care. Be safe. And have fun collecting.